astronomers are excited. Every piece of glass, every telescope in the world practically is going to be looking at Jupiter in July see what can be seen. Astrophysicists from MIT published a detailed computer model of what to expect. In 1992, yeah, Jupiter's gravity broke the comet called Shoemaker-Levy into at least 20 pieces, photographed here by the Hubble Space Telescope. The pieces, each about three miles wide, are now on a collision course with Jupiter. As each piece strikes Jupiter's atmosphere, it will set off an explosion equivalent to a quarter million hydrogen bombs. Each impact will send a huge fireball shooting back into space away from Jupiter. These will occur on the side of Jupiter facing away from Earth, but should be seen by the Galileo spacecraft. But the effects on Jupiter's atmosphere will be visible from telescopes on Earth and from the Hubble telescope a half hour after the collisions as Jupiter rotates. The comet is like a very large rock and the planet is like a very large pond and so it's going to be ripples just like uh, throwing a rock into a pond. The scientists believe that Jupiter will survive intact, that those disruptions will last for about a month. But they say the most exciting part is they are not really sure what will happen. Robert Bazell, NBC News, New York. Well, designing a tomato is one thing for science. Keeping track of what's happening on Jupiter, that's another matter altogether. But American scientists these days are keeping a large eye on the distant planet because it's about to be involved in a cosmic collision. Here's NBC's Robert Hager. A stunning view of the Shoemaker-Levy comet taken by the Hubble Space Telescope and released by NASA today. Scientists call its 21 pieces the string of pearls. And as this computer simulation shows, they're on a collision course with the planet Jupiter, expected to hit starting July 16th and for the next five and a half days. But the view as it will be from Earth will be frustrating, all the collisions occurring just out of sight on the backside of Jupiter. Astronomers must depend on the spacecraft Galileo, which has a different view for the only actual pictures at the moment of each impact. Scientists have modeled a scenario of how the comet's pieces may break up as they plunge through Jupiter's atmosphere, and have modeled what they believe may be a huge fireball as each piece disintegrates. Co-discoverer of the comet, Eugene Shoemaker. We're talking about 100 million megatons of kinetic energy. 100 million megatons. Equal to the explosion of nearly two million nuclear bombs, which may have little effect on the huge gaseous planet Jupiter, but if it were hitting the Earth... I think we're talking about an, the kind of event that's associated with mass extinctions of species on Earth. That is really and truly a global catastrophe. It might not take out the human race, but it would certainly be very bad times. So while scientists are thrilled at the prospect of charting what happens on Jupiter, they're even more thrilled it's all happening 450 million miles away. Robert Hager, NBC News. To call it smashing would be an understatement. Scientists say the planet Jupiter will have a close encounter with a comet this summer. Close heck, the comet's going to hit it. The power of the collision will rival that of all the nuclear weapons on Earth. These pictures taken by the Hubble telescope were released today. They show the Shoemaker Comet already near Jupiter. The comet is made up of 21 fragments, all a mile and a half or a mile long. Those fragments should begin colliding with Jupiter on July 16th. Jupiter's mass is 300 times that of Earth. Scientists say if the thing, same thing happened here, Earth would be destroyed. But rest easy, NASA assures us the Earth is in no danger. Ah.